Welcome back to Minecraft episode 182, the second episode in season 11. The last episode was amazing, man. I haven't checked the comments yet because I recorded them back to back, but I'm telling you right now, what has happened here is just epic. We have determined that Exomine encapsulates this whole area that I've been exploring around since the beginning of season 10 when I found this area and it has just been an incredible experience we're up to five dungeons now I have discovered a mega pit I mean this thing just goes and oh duh uh, like I said in the last episode I needed to collect more wood and now that I have found this area it's going to be extremely easy I don't have to make that trip the long way I can start the domestication right from here build a, a minecart uh, elevator it's uh well it'll have to be a track down if I want to get back up but yeah I can pipe resources right to the castle I mean it's right there man you can't ask for a better spot and uh yeah so let me grab a couple of blocks of wood and stock up on uh, more torches and I might as well go to the castle and drop some stuff off you know why not it's only the middle of the day. I can. I think I have more wood stored over there too, so that'll work. Put the torches down here for. It's right next to an epic tree too, man. That's really cool. This is just awesome. It's all awesome. I'm excited. I can tell you that much. Right there, man. The whole time. The whole time. But that's that's how it goes. You know, you never know what you're gonna find when you run in a certain direction. And in this case. I, I really did well, but I, I am just fascinated by the idea of Exomine being underneath the castle in addition to all around it. We're going to find that out when we start poking holes in the surface. Not that I really needed to, because I found that pit. But, uh, where am I here? Uh, food. Cake goes away. Duh. And, uh, the wheat goes away. I didn't need to use any soups that time. I'm going to deposit the newfound gunpowder, so now I've got two TNT again. Little epic little I should get rid of more of this bone meal. I don't really need all that much on me. For what reason would I need it? And I'll convert the other bones that I have and uh, slice it in half again, just to make a stack in the inventory. Uh, I don't mind melt down this iron. Might as well. That way that's cooking. The record, which I will play, even though y'all know what, what's on it. Collect another bucket. And I gotta stash the new string that I found. And the feathers. Oh, I got more iron here. Well, let's just add that to the pile. That'll make it a nice, well, it would have been a nice even 32. But, uh, yeah, awesomeness. I can put the coloring away, add it to that pile. And I split these so that I could have um, one for other colors and one to stay green, like light and dark and all that. Uh, tree sapling. Where do I have that stuff? Oh, yeah. No, in the rare, in the, the mob items. It's kind of sitting there. Hmm, I can stash the cobblestone oh, it's in the building materials oh and I did have more good good deal I can add to my moss pile too from that dungeon if I ever find it and I'll put the clay down so that'll make a, uh, one more brick I don't really need the dirt convert the wood into sticks I'm gonna get a little bit more but this is just the starter kit yeah. I don't think I have any more coal, though. So we'll probably have to mine out some of that. I'm going to add to my dirt collection. Because dirt does make a decent building material, and since we can't have access yet to the cocoa-colored, um, or brown-colored wool, the, 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 this does okay. Yeah, so... I'm going to continue my exploration, and then once that's done with... 
I will build uh, the rest of the castle walls and make it pretty. I'll work on the courtyard and meat hall and whatever else and we'll do that. But we have got to find out just what Exomine is, is going to throw at us because I really am, am amazed. It could be right underneath me. I just uh, can't imagine the cartograph of that mine. What unbelievableness it would have. What it would look like. But I dare not do that for the simple fact that, first of all, it'll take forever to render because of the thousands of blocks that I've had to travel, which I actually did do physically, but also um, because I'd rather not know. And it won't be able to tell me what's explored and what isn't explored anyway. It'll just show me, you know, the, the endless twists and turns that the mine has. So I'm not going to do that. If I ever offer this map for download, which I probably will uh, down the road, I will, uh, you know, you can you can map it all you want, but uh, I'm just going to do this this way for now, so that it's done. All right, we're good to go. Good to do some more mining. All right, so this is the the room I was in that connects directly to the surface. So we're going to make it unique by putting a pillar of torches there. And it's not that hard to find. I mean, let's face it. It's a giant hole, and during the day, it's very easy to, to tell that that's an opening. But the castle, I think, is that way, so that's that's just really awesome. All right. So let's keep exploring. Let's go down this way. Because <laughs> there's more, more unknown that way and all this way and every which way. I do eventually have to loop around, but every time I say that I find a new giant area, that it's unexplored and scary and mob infested and yeah, like that for example, that little tunnel could lead to a giant pit or something. I don't know. I didn't even explore all the ways that that other pit I found, the little skinny one. Yeah. Huh. I'm hungry. I'm actually getting the shakes over it. That's also due to the fatigue, but I've got mine to f to force or something. Yeah, tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm going to go get uh, something to eat. I don't know what yet. Oh, I know. I'm going to make ramen noodles. <laughs> I love ramen noodles. What I usually do, here's your question for the day. How do you like your ramen noodles? What I do, actually there's two ways. The first way is, is pretty standard. I boil the noodles in the water, and then I, uh, I don't eat it as soup. I actually drain the water out, and I dump a bunch of margarine on it, or butter, and then I put some Parmesan cheese on there, um, and it's awesome. Don't use too much, though, or it gets kind of weird, but you dump some cheese and butter on there, and it's, it's really not nice. The other thing is a style of egg foo young that I make, where I boil the noodles, dump the water out. You leave a little bit so it stays moist because the steam dries it out real fast. But you, you boil the noodles, just drain the water, and then you you uh, scramble two eggs. I use two packs of ramen. If you use one pack, use one egg. One egg per pack. But I take the eggs, scramble them up, and I put them in the noodles, and then I dump some soy sauce on there, and it's just awesome. So yeah, those are my two noodle styles. You can comment about what kind of noodle styles you prefer, how you like your ramens, or ramens, I don't know how you pronounce it, but I pronounce it ramen because that's English grammar at its finest. The first vowel is short, uh, a long, the second vowel is, I don't remember, but yeah. Ramen, ramen, ramen? <laughs> Who knows? Okay. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to get some noodles and I'll be back in a split second. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Oh, these, these noodles are delicious. <coughs> oh, that's really good. Oh, this is, oh, these are so good! Oh. That is the last time I record on this much sleep deprivation. I can't I can't afford to to behave like that on camera. You're probably lolling 
hysterically, but uh, yeah. That's what happens when I get too insane. I become retarded. <laughs> or something like that. What in the world? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man. Too epic for words. I just am forever in awe of this this cave. And it will serve us well. This cave is what is fueling the, the castle building project. And, you know. I am surprised, though, that, you know, the majority... What? Wait, what happened? I can move left but not right? What is this? I don't even... Oh, I see. Something was pushing on another button. Okay, I was trying to... <laughs> another epic pit. Another new epic pit. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. This is truly an amazing, amazing cave. And this is why I keep coming down here, because every time I do, I just find more and more awesomeness. And that is what's up. But the noodles were excellent, as you heard. I don't think I need to, uh, you know, describe that. Uh, so, yeah. What is... Wait, what? Did I see a dungeon flame? That would have been cool if I did. No, something else. Man, alive. This is craziness. We shall descend into the mine. And this looks like it's right near the, the new entrance I found. Wouldn't that be something? Bet there's lava down there. That's what it looks like anyway. Alright, put that there. Put that there. As they say around here, put that there. Put that there. No, they don't talk like that. Close, but not quite. Unbelievable, man! <laughs> What is this? I don't even... Now I really understand where that uh, ridiculous phrase of, of incomplete sentences came from. What is this? I don't even... is pretty much describing the mine at this point. Safe to say that that's, that's about how I feel right now. What is... The oh, hello, Lapis and Skeleton. Oh, boy. Where'd he go? Oh, yeah. This is going to be a tough one. Oh, you're dead now. Oh, you hit me. Yeah. Death on a stick. Well, I found bluestone. Uh, visibly. Hope I didn't miss any through this journey. That's just like me to completely miss what is obviously in front of me or above me. But when I explore, I kind of don't pay attention to that stuff. If I see it, I see it. If I don't, I don't. But you know I come back to get it. I always do. So you can be rest assured that your comments do not go unread. All 95 of them pertaining to the same stupid thing. And there's some more right there. <laughs> I saw it. But no, there's some above your hand, sir. Oh, really? No, there isn't. That's coal. I've been trolled by myself again. Hmm. Alright, so Lapis there. Let's dig that out right now. We got three blocks. Go for four. No. Just three this time. Which is great, because that was like 20 of them. Yep, 20 even. <laughs> Coolness. Huh. Amazing. And that, even though this branches off in a zillion directions, the bottom of the pit is still way down there. We'll get to that, though, I promise. I just want to see where this... Oh, hello, Bluestone. I see more right there. Hey, there it is. <laughs> see, now I have to troll you back. Because, holy crap, man. Everybody has to comment. Everybody. Like, if I don't see it the f Oh, hello, Diamond! If I don't see it the first time, I'm not going to see it the second 94 zillion times. Hello, more Diamond! 
Well, we've definitely found a cool area right here. This is the bottom of the world, and there is awesome sauce everywhere. Gold, diamond, blue stone, red stone. It's a, it's a orgy of, of ores. But it's very, very, very dangerous. I have just stumbled upon uh, death everywhere. As awesome as it looks, it's so easy to be killed in a place like this. I guess that used to be water. Huh. I really just came down here to get the iron. Iron, as they say normally. So, yes. Oh, and, uh, oh, 38, wow. In addition to what I already found. Awesome. That's death. I'm gonna go that way. Let us well get the gold. Because gold is always... Oh, hello, blue stone and the gold. Well, uh, we've got to, we've got to do our, uh, yeah, see, that's, that would have been death right there. Does this go all the way under? Okay, just, just that part. Guaranteed there's one right here, so. Okay, so it was just this. Alright, so I got that blue stone. We'll go back in the other blue stone. I have to leave this, well, maybe. Is there anything that way I can't see? So, there's diamond over here. Ooh, looks like a lot of diamond. And this is just an alternate path. Kind of see what's that way, but not really. I hear a zombie, though. Well, I'll get the diamond anyway. One. Count with me now. Two. Three. And that's it. That's all we're getting out of that vein. But there's another vein over here. Yeah, it's pretty amazing when you find multiple diamond veins. Oops, it was, it was that way. There we go. Yeah, pretty amazing. Four. Are we still counting? Five. Six. Seven. That's as high as I can go, man. Any higher and, and you know, my voice will crack. Oh, hello! Blue stone again! Betcha I missed that one, too, didn't I? <laughs> it was above your head, man. Well, I got it. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're cool. You know? Big deal. Whoa. Six, seven blocks. Excellent stuff. Right next to redstone, man. There's crap everywhere. And I love it, love it, love it. Well, there's a lot of blue stone now. Can't yell at me for being short on it anymore. An exact one stack of blue stone. Oh, yeah. And dive into the dangers of pit mining. Collect more torches. Throw the items like I like to do. And put them back where I believe they belong. <laughs> Amazing. Am I missing anything else? There's coal and redstone over there. Should get the coal, but I'm I'm missing out on some of the other stuff I found out here. We'll grab this iron though. That's the way. I hear you, zombie. Can I get that way? No, I can't give in to the temptation. Even though he's really close. Look at this blue stone. There's coal underneath. Interesting. Resource rich. Every way. Cold that way. And did I explore this? Oh, hello, zombie! <laughs> You're coming from the ceiling. Lighting bug, apparently. Yes, I didn't think there was a way that way. What is this now? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Another dungeon? Are you kidding me? I think so. Come on, get out of the way. It is! <laughs> I wasn't crazy. No, I couldn't have seen that. I see you, zombie. That is really, really funny. And they're all hopping in the distance. Well, they're right next to me, actually. But yeah. That is funny. What secrets will this dungeon give us? An apple would be the best ever, man. I would de officially declare myself beat m beating Minecraft if I found an apple. But it looks like there's only one chest. I don't know if I like that. Unless it's buried under the gravel. 
Yeah, holy crap, another dungeon. And it was admissible, kinda, because it was behind... Oh, here comes some more zombie. Come on, spawn! There he is. Yeah, this was kind of admissible because it was behind some gravel, but... You knew it was there. As soon as you saw that... Oh, no, there is two chests. C cool. But no, as soon as you saw that little piece of cobblestone, yeah, I mean, you knew. You knew what was coming. Now I feel like Gamer Man. So what's in chest number one? Two saddles, man. All right, all right, I'll get the saddle. Just this once. And I, I can't open this unless I get rid of these. Two buckets and three iron. Well... That's a an okay find. No apple, but we did all right. So, another dungeon. Oh, you know what I should do is grab some of this while I'm here. Let me take a moment. With my diggity diamond pick, I can uh, relinquish the mossily cobblestone. Mossily cobbly stone from the depths of the mines. And why not, right? Like I said, I'm going to use it in the castle, so... If I want to use it, I'm going to need it. I don't know how many of these there are. But I still have more in the other dungeon that I have yet to collect, so... That'll work. And what is that? 29? Yeah, that's about two stacks. 30, 31, 32, 33. Now, I do have two stacks of cobbly mossly stone. <laughs> Which I just keep changing and exaggerating the name. But yes, it's a good thing. Now, let's see what's above my head. Which is, sounds dangerous, so... I don't want to be too hasty. Oh, there you are. Oh, hey, zombie. Would you like to die? I thought so. How did he die? Oh, he's down there. Okay. Excellent. Get my arrows back. And... What's over here now? even more cave. Hello, mushrooms. Wow. Wow. No matter how much cave I explore, man, I always run into new cave. It's un... Oh, that was smart. I falled. It's unbelievable. Okay, that looks like it wraps around. And there's the death below me. I gotta get back up here, though. Huh. It's an interesting cavern. Where did that zombie go? Oh, he must have been killed in the labor. Good. I didn't want to fight him anyway. This is a long passage. What secrets would it hold? Oh, and there's a pit up there. How nice of you to stop by. And... Okay, good. Unexplored, explored. So I kind of looped around here. Oh, this is the giant... Wait. Is this a giant pit or is this something else? I can't even tell anymore. Now that I do have the wood for it, I'm kind of just winging it. Hoping I find more bluestone. I know I left some back there, don't worry. I will, I will get that. Hello, gold. Hello, opening. <laughs> Examine rules. Look around, make sure I don't miss anything. And hmm, barricade. Let's just shimmy around that. Is this water and lava meat? Harmony. Yeah. I'm not worried about that iron right now. I will eventually get all of it. But I, this mine is so massive that there's just no way I can get it all at once. But this tunnel is huge, man. And it's daytime and I can't even see the end of it. What's up with that? Alright, I'll get this iron. Even though there's death behind me. I have to get something while I'm out here. Yeah, that's a pretty wild cave. Yeah, why is it that it's... Oh, that's probably because it's not too far away. When it gets light like that in the distance, since I have the fog up for performance reasons, um, you can see around, but now I really can't. Oh, wait, there we go. So that means that it's not really as far away as it, as it, as it seems. But my goodness. It's, uh, it's breathtaking. It really is. I have got to have found one of the most amazing mines in the history of Minecraft ever. I'm I'm declaring that right now uh, as a maybe. 
because I know you guys have come across some wild caverns. But Exomine is most certainly living up to its name. It has taken the better part of, of a season. Because you know, I didn't explore it every time, but I did spend a good amount of time down there. And no matter how much of it I explore, it just doesn't end. Now I already I know I already asked a question of the day it's about the noodles and I stand by that but something to think about is is this mine ever going to end I hope it doesn't because I can ride this for several more hours now that the seasons are uh, let's see 30, 30 times 2600 now that the, the seasons are 10 hours apiece I have a lot of room to play with but just am amazed at how unbelievably huge this is. This blows my mind. Wait, did we come to an end? No. Close, but no. Wait. Ah, here we are. So it does have a dead end. Wait. No, of course not. Why did I even question? Ah, okay. So that's that. Right. <clears throat> Let me grab more iron. We're probably up to a stack at this point. Yes, and plus five more. And I'm getting full again. Oh, I'm a little low on health. Let's re-up on the soup and toss the bowl. So I can have the inventory space. That's important. And for some reason I think I'll be able to find my way out of here. Even though I've ran way, way off course. Plus, I want to do some castle stuff in addition to all of this exploration. Unless you guys just want me to keep exploring this mine until I find the end. But like I said, I don't like to do too much of one thing and not enough of the other one. So I like to please everybody, even though it's not really possible. Try as I might. And I'm figuring since the iron is so abundant down here, and I'm going to have to build minecart systems all over the place to do my bidding... Uh, I'm gonna need that iron. You know, in my other series, my mini-series, the Mind Force videos, I have a lot of iron. And it was all dug out by me on purpose. For the purpose of building Mind Track, which I did in several directions. And, yeah. So. There we go. What a, yeah, see, he dropped down and stopped. He's like, oh man, he saw me. I can't blow him up now. So he's just going to chill there. Are you just going to hang out there? Can I can I sneak by you? Because you know as soon as I go over there, you're going to jump down and destroy me. So he's just watching me, man. He's like, oh, yeah, there we go. Hey, he uncovered some iron. That's cool. <laughs> nice. Let me go grab another soup. See, he was waiting, man. They wait for you. That is a sign of intelligence. You can't, you can't even code stuff like that. It just happens. You know, the ghosts in the code. Anyone who's, who, that's an iRobot reference. And you wonder where he spawned from, too, man. There's nothing here. Except darkness. And he waited. As soon as he saw me see him, I looked at him. He's like, oh, son of a... So I was dumb enough to go over and say hi. Try to give him a hug. That didn't work. Because the more I take on, the more damage I take on the armor, obviously, the less powerful my uh, it is, and so I lose more hearts. But um, I technically found an extent that way. So we're going back this way. We're gonna check out what's over here. Looks like we might run into. Oh no, no. Wait. Is it a looper? Yes. Good. So let me retrace my steps here and uh, figure out if there's any any uh, resources besides this stuff that I missed. Uh, this is a good time to make the torches. Well, it's coming down to the line here, and I am having a great time. But I'm going to stop this and uh, continue in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. You're watching. You're awesome. And I will see you then. 
later.